More than a week after President Biden's poor debate performance, calls continue for him to step aside and allow someone else the chance to run, even after he sat for an interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos on Friday. The president has not convinced all Democrats, including lawmakers and donors, that he is fit to take on former President Trump and serve another four years. Netflix's co-founder and executive chairman Reed Hastings doubled down on his call for Biden to step aside after the interview. Biden is unfortunately in denial about his mental state, Hastings said in a statement to ABC News. He needs to step aside to let a vigorous Democratic leader beat Trump. Bill Harris, the former CEO of PayPal, told the outlet that Biden seemed old in the interview and he thinks it may turn off voters who are skeptical of Biden's abilities. He donated $620,000 to the Biden Victory Fund in 2020 but thinks the idea of Biden stepping aside in this race is inevitable. Ahead of the ABC interview, Whitney Tilson, a major investor for Democrats, told ABC News that one great interview wouldn't change his view that it's highly unlikely that Biden will beat Trump in November. Tilson told the outlet that even the wealthiest people have limitations to money, and he wants to hold his donation in order to support the candidates that throw their hat in the ring. In a lengthy post on social media platform X, Tilson said Biden's campaign is a ghost. It's over, he posted after the interview, calling it a cringeworthy public display of irreversible aging. Billionaire Rick Caruso also posted online saying it's time for Biden to step aside. I deeply respect Joe Biden's lifetime of service to our country, he said, adding, in this critical time, in this vital election, stepping aside is the right and honorable thing for President Biden to do. Before the interview, Damon Lindelof, the co-creator of Lost and a notable Democratic Party supporter, called on his fellow Democratic donors to stop giving money to the party until Biden steps down. He said Biden's debate performance was game-changing and said it's time for someone new. Abigail Disney, the granddaughter of the Walt Disney Co., co-founder Roy O. Disney, said Thursday that she plans to stop donating to the Democratic Party unless Biden drops out. This is realism, not disrespect, she said in an interview. Biden is a good man and has served this country admirably, but the stakes are far too high. 